Well, it's not a rainy night in Georgia, but it is a rainy day here in Bethany Beach. And we're here to talk a little bit about uh, other rainy times, rainy times in relationships, and particular, particularly a rainy time for us, which was dealing with a child with some mental health and behavioral issues. Julie and I got along really well, for the most part, for all of our marriage, and still do. But we were challenged by um, a parenting issue that pervaded uh, our ability to take care of our daughter and then our ability to take care of our other daughters and of course our ability to take care of our own relationship. you remember any of that? Yeah, it was pretty stressful times. Um, we did a lot of, I would say, talking, sometimes arguing. Even a lot of arguing, yeah. Over it. Uh, I, I am a clinical social worker so I had a very different perspective of how to do things. I like to fix things that's my nature that's my my job and I was always really trying to find the next program the next medication the next therapy that would work the next behavioral intervention of some kind and um, that was sort of how I dealt with a difficult you know child a difficult time in our lives and you are more like different approaches well we bumped heads because it was an issue of of what someone could had the ability to do versus what someone refused to do, and uh, it caused a lot of fighting between the two of us. It also made us um, uh, made us have difficulty in terms of parenting our other kids and and the relationship between my my other three girls, uh, not only with with our fourth daughter but also between themselves and with us. And uh, there were days where we wouldn't talk to each other, or we looked the other way, or walked the other direction, primarily because we weren't handling this issue in the same way. We weren't on the same plane, and it took work for us to get there. You remember what you know? What did we kind of do to, to try to push things? Well, forward? I think the biggest the biggest thing that I would say that helped us is that we were always respectful to each other, even if we had differences yeah. in our opinions, and we didn't, you know, take the kids and, and try to you know get them on different sides or yell at each other in front of the kids if we had something to say. That wasn't nice we would wait till later and say hey listen like I think this is wrong or I think you you know you should have done this differently and I think that that was really helpful that um, we never yeah I remember one time in particular when I don't even know what the issue was where I was really pissed about something really you yeah, get it's hard to pissed believe. At something? Hmm. <laughs> but I remember uh, the girls were at the table um, the three younger ones were at the table and um, I grabbed you not physically but I said let's go to the other room yeah. As opposed to having this discussion, and I knew I was hot at the time, but instead of having this discussion in front of the kids, and even though it may have not been the greatest way to bring it up with you, at least we did it in such a way so that it, did, it didn't happen in front of our kids. That's not to say things uh, that shouldn't have happened uh, did happen in front of the kids on other occasions, but we did work to yeah, try we to really careful keep, about that. Yeah, try to keep the conflict. Uh, away as best as we could. Our, our conflict, everybody knew the conflict that was going on inside the family, but our own differences, we tried to keep those away from our girls. Yeah, and I, and I would say to you, I, I wouldn't wish having, you know, any issues with any of your children on, on, a, on a couple. But I do have to say that we got through some really hard times together. We always, you know, were able to just kind of get into gear, whether it was to take, you know, to take the kids someplace or do something or get some space and time. And um, I think in hindsight, it probably made our relationship stronger that we were able to get through that. And I know there's a, you know, a, a saying that that which does not kill you makes you stronger. And I do think <laughs> that that having, you know, hard things happen in your life and you guys doing it together does, you know, does make thing does make your relationship stronger. I agree. Didn't kill us. We thought it would a couple times, but it didn't. Yeah, so did. anyway, have a great Sunday. Rainy day here in Bethany. Rainy nights in Georgia. We'll see you soon.